up awesome people and welcome back to my Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. In the last episode we explored the Pokemon Mansion and we got the secret key in order to get into Blaine's gym on Cinnabar Island so we can now take on the challenge to get our seventh badge. Yes, because we're red hot and ready! For those who played Pokemon Puzzle League would actually know that reference. Yay! I wonder how many of you actually did. So anyways, question of the day is kind of a I guess predictable one since we're taking on Blaine. Which is your favourite fire type Pokemon? Leave your burning hot questions down in the comment section below. And with that, let's take on. Ah, uh, before anything, the repels effect wore off. Well, I don't think I need any repels now because there's nothing to repel. Right, so we're able to get straight into Blaine's gym. So this one works a little bit differently for those who have not played Pokemon Yellow before. So in this gym, in order to proceed, uh, you need to answer questions, because as we all know from the anime, Blaine is a bit of a riddle me this type of guy, so he asks questions, and that's how you proceed to the gym. Get him right, you proceed onwards. Get him wrong, you verse a grunt. So instead of getting the questions right, what are we going to do? We're going to get him wrong, because I want the experience, otherwise Dragonair is go not going to be able to get to Dragon Knight. And we're going to be quite sad. And also, I did pick up a rare candy as well in our adventure throughout the horrid Pokemon Mansion. I bloody hate the Pokemon Mansion! I'm going to stop saying that place because I, it gives me shivers down my back. I just don't like it because I get lost. That's the only reason why I don't like it. Alright, so this gym is also known as the Quiz Gym. You have to take a quiz if you want to see Blaine. You don't have to fight us if you get it right. Well, I definitely know what I'm doing. This, uh, what I'm doing then? Pokemon quiz. Get it right, and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong, and face the trainer blocking the way. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, then get it right. Here we go. Caterpie evolves into Butterfree. It evolves into Metapod. On, Caterpie evolves into Metapod! Now that, that's worded incorrectly! Oh, I was supposed to get that wrong! Oh, well, we're missing out on a trainer. Well, logic at its absolute best. Apparently, Caterpie evolves into a Butterfree straight off the bat. That should have been worded a little bit differently because in my head, it was Caterpie evolves into Metapod. That's correct. Caterpie evolving straight into Butterfree, though, is incorrect. I don't know, maybe I read that wrong, but the way that was going through my head is actually, that was incorrect. I don't know. We're going to kill the all picks anyway because I'm frustrated now. 486 experience there, bringing Dragon Ale to level 30, uh, 45, not 35, and is trying to learn Dragon Rage, which is a fixed damage move of 40 damage. That would be handy going up against legendary Pokemon. Oh god, another good move I don't want to get rid of. I'm gonna have to though, so abandon learning Dragon Rage. Second Pokemon is going to be a Volpix at level 36. It's actually a bit of a shame, I wanted the battle to end there because I just leveled up. So no point using the rare candy now since I'm going to be gaining a bit of extra experience and then I'm just wasting experience then. Alright, so Volpix goes down to a Surf, 486 experience there for Dragon Air. The last Pokemon is going to be Nine Tails, which is going to be level 36 and will probably live a Surf quite easily given that Special is quite decent. And the fact that Surf is not Stab... Oh, I got Critical Hit. That does kill it, though. Uh, surf isn't Stab for me, either. Alright, so Super Nerd is defeated. Yow! Hot, 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 Alright, 900 Pokedollars winning that battle. So let's see if I get another ridiculously worded quiz this time. Pokemon quiz, test your skills. Da -da -da -da. Hold on, there's... Yeah, that's not... There's eight. Sorry, bad call, but I'm going to take this person on. It is indeed eight, not nine. I kind of skipped over the question very quickly. For those who didn't actually see, it was there was nine uh, certified badges to enter the Pokemon League, which is, as we all know, incorrect. It's indeed eight, but I answered yes, so I get the trainer battle. So that's how the first one should have gone. But no, they put an illogical bloody question. All right, so Panita does go down. That's quite a lot of experience there. 1,007 experience there. Sorry, 1,107 experience. Charmander is their second Pokemon at level 34. 
Surf is definitely going to take this thing down. So, as you probably predicted, this is going to be just a complete slaughterhouse with Dragon here. Especially at level 45, but I think Blaine has some pretty high level Pokemon around the 50s from memory. 472 experience there for Dragonair. Third Pokemon is going to be the Volpix at level 34. So that's again going to go down to the Surf Attack. I think their last Pokemon might be like a Growlithe or something or another Ninetales, which would be extremely nice. Very generous of the game to be another Ninetales. Oh, I think it's Growlithe. I am correct, it's a Growlithe. Level 34. Again, this puppy, poor puppy, and it's poor fate. Poor thing. Poor thing indeed. Bye bye Growlithe, I'm, I'm very sorry. 663 experience there for Dragonair. Hey, without the super nerd is defeated. We're here, my studies! Oh, that was a really bad voice for the super nerd. That didn't come out the way I thought it would. Right, so Pokemon quiz. Poliwag evolves three times. It evolves once, twice. So into Poliwell, Poliwrath. That's only two evolutions, but they're gonna bloody name this incorrectly, aren't they? It had. I knew I didn't like. I had to think again. Evolves three times, so no, it only evolves twice. It's not until second gen. Of, uh, e sorry, no, but it still remains two times. It does have three evolutions, but it only evolves twice. Anyways, Panita level 41 from the Burglar. This is going to be some extremely nice experience. And some very nice money too, because burglars seem to have a tendency to give out a lot of money. Which is what I need. Money, money, money. Panita goes down. 1335 experience there for Dragonair and no level up bugger. Too hot to handle. 36.96 in Poké Dollars winning that battle. So we got another trainer down here, so let's get this one incorrect too. Ah, Thunder Moves effective against ground element type Pokémon. Aha, uh -huh, for the sake of this, they are. <laughs> no, they're not. Don't try it. Unless you have Ring Target and Twitcheroo or something like that. It was 6th gen, of course. Alright, Super Nerd wants to battle. Only Pokemon is the Rapidash at level 41. Yep, this should bring me level 46, and then I can use a Rare Candy and go to level 47. Nah, -uh, that Growl is not going to work because I'm going to surf you. I'm probably not going to kill you. Then again, Rapidash, I don't think, boasts a lot of special either. Oh, it still lived though, but then again, that le level difference is nothing. I think that was a speed tie. Very interesting. Unless it used like Roar or something. But I don't think it learns. 1686 experience there, and does indeed bring the Dragon Air to level 46, which I can use my rare candy and grow to level 47, and that's all she wrote there for now for Dragon Air's leveling up. Rare candy, rare candy, rare candy! Thus, we are slowly getting there. I think I just need eight more levels if my mathematics is correct. Eight more levels and we have Dragonite. We are slowly getting there, folks. I'm getting really excited! Hold on, whoa, 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 I didn't even leave the question! No, they're not identical because of DVs. Sorry, I had to think for a second what the question would be, but it was like... If this Pokemon is the same level, would that mean they're identical? Back in the day, I would have said yes. They are indeed identical. Sorry, are they not identical? Um, which is actually incorrect, but as I said, back in the day, I would have thought they were identical because that was my logic. I never understood or even knew what the term DVs or as there are now IVs and then EVs later down the track as well what they were even known or what their mechanics were and didn't even know they existed. But yeah, um, DVs do exist in Generation 1, so therefore a Pokemon will not be identi identical if they were the same level. Alright, so that's Growlithe down and DVs. I don't know if they would change the IVs in 2nd Gen. I think they might have been. Uh, they also affected if a Pokemon was shiny or not. So you can actually have a shiny Pokemon Generation 1 and not know about it because Obviously, shiny Pokemon didn't exist in Generation 1, but if you traded them to Generation 2, uh, they could end up being shiny if their DVs were exa uh, exactly the DVs that you needed. Anyways, last one. His TM28 contains Tombstoner? I wish it did, because that sounds awesome! Tombstoner! I want a move called Tombstoner, just as a reference to that quiz. Fire is weak against H2O. Yeah, Tombstoner. Please, Game Freak, give me a move called Tombstoner. That sounds awesome. Or something along the lines, but I think they end up becoming like Rock Tomb or something very 
you know, plain and not as unique. Anyways, I think this person only had two Pokemon. I've only got three PP left of my serve, so I'm going to have to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up my dragon there. Because I'm pretty sure this is the last Grunt we have to take on before we get to Blaine. So Growlithe goes down, level 37 Volpix appears. And... Uh, well, guess? It'd be a Charmander or Charmeleon would be the last Pokemon. Oh, no, sorry, I... Why am I guessing the next Pokemon? He had two Pokemon. 925 Poke Dollars winning that battle. So the door opens there, and there is Mr. Blaine himself. Well, that didn't actually look like Blaine because of Generation 1 sprites. He looked a little too old to be Blaine. I know Blaine is quite old, but still, not that old. And not quite that round either. Alright, so let's, uh, let's head back to the Pokemon Center and heal up Dragonair's PP on Surf, and therefore we'll have a better day taking down Blaine, because uh, Blizzard's gonna do nothing. Done the wave, obviously, will paralyze him, but that's just about it. And Body Slam will be an interesting time bringing down these Pokemon. All right, so Pokemon are healed back to perfectly good health. And no, I don't want to see you again, but I probably will end up seeing you at the end of this fight. Alright, so let's do this! I am red hot and ready for this battle! I got my Dragonair who's got Surf, I got my Dragonair who's not too far from evolving into a Dragon Knight. Hopefully Giovanni will do the rest of the work for me. And I'm just pumped in general. I am pumped to be able to get my 7th badge! You may as well just give me the badge now, Blaine. HA! I'm Blaine, I'm the leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon will incinerate all challenges. Ha! You better have Burn Heal. I'm a fire type Pokemon. I'm so fiery I don't need a Burn Heal. God, that was lame. Anyways, Blaine wants to fight three Pokemon, leading with a nine tail straight off the bat there. He's his first Pokemon at level 48. So there's three Pokemon, and I kind of figured they'd be in the high 40s or at least near 50. So Confused Ray straight off the bat there. God damn you, Blaine! Why do you know my weakness so well? It's confusion! Oh, great! Great opening lead there. I hit myself in confusion. So there's the flamethrower sh for the second move, and that's gonna do not very much there to drag it out. I yes, I snapped out of confusion. That never happens normally, so I'll take it as it is. Surf is not going to kill because of Ninetales' nice special stat there. Quick attack there from the Nine Towers is going to do a little bit there to Dragonair. Thank you, Iron, for actually making a difference. Alright, so Surf should take up the Nine Towers. It sure does. So Nine Towers goes down and gives some very nice experience. 1830 experience there for Dragonair. His second Pokemon is going to be the Rapidash at the amazing level 50. So this is indeed going to give out some extremely nice experience. So let's take it down with. Well, I'm not going to take it down with Surf because it's going to take more than one Surf. Oh, but that critical hit is definitely going to take it down in one hit, so that is extremely nice. 2056 experience there for Dragonair is also very nice indeed. And his last Pokemon is Arcanine at level 54. Oh my goodness, is going to give some nice experience. Please don't die! Like I didn't get burnt, that would have been some major issues there too, because I don't think I've got revives on me. Alright, so Arcanine is going to soak that damage up quite nicely, only doing a quarter damage there to the Arcanine. I'm going to use the Hyper Potion there on Dragon uh, Dragonair to heal it up by 133 health there. Take down there from the Dra uh, from the Arcanine is going to do some alright damage. Does do some recall damage to itself. I'm not going to kill though with Surf. I'll probably bring it down to the medium range in the yellow. Flamethrower again there from the Arcanine. Even if I do resist that, it's still doing a lot of damage there, even with the critical hits. This Arcanine is indeed powerful. Alright, so down into low red there for the Arcanine, finally. I should just be able to go for a Body Slam and just take that out. Alright, so another Flamethrower coming my way. Alright, so I've indeed won this, so take a Body Slam and take a hike. And there we go, I'm down to the mid-range there. Body Slam connects and Arcanine goes down. 2,464 experience there for Dragonair, bringing it to level 48. I am nearly there. I have nearly got myself a Dragonite. I have burnt out. You have earned the Volcano Badge. 
5,346 Poké Dollars for winning that lovely battle. Ha! The Volcano Badge heightens the special abilities of your Pokémon. Here you can have this too, which is TM38, which I do believe is Fire Blast. Teach it to fire type Pokemon. Charmeleon or Ponita would be good bets. And I just have another Rapidash. Nice. Which I could have swore I actually learnt Flamethrower naturally. But we'll see about that. It's I've said a few things already in this uh, whole entire walkthrough that turned out to be incorrect when I look it up on the actual team builders for Generation 1. So I'm not exactly too thrilled that I don't get Earthquake on Dragonite. I can't remember if it's Generation 2 if it learns Earthquake, which means I can technically get an Earthquake Dragonite, just need to transfer it from Generation 1 to Generation 2, then transfer it back. Anyways, uh, that's it for this episode. Uh, pretty much from here now, it's just a straight walk towards the Elite Four. We just need to take down Giovanni back in Viridian City, then do, oh my god, the dreaded Victory Road. Oh my lord, If it's, I thought Pokemon Mansion was going to be bad. Victory Road is going to be worse. I'm going to have to take, like, bloody scum chew out of the box. Oh, that by itself is a bit of a dread. Um, I'm going to need... Oh, the strew comes back. I need strength, too. So I need flash strength. And I, I might need to upgrade my repels. So that's going to be fun when we actually get there. So, uh, of course... Oh, blah, 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 tongue tied. Uh, next episode, we'll, as I said, be doing Giovanni. And then get some more experience for Dragonair. And... All will be well, except for the rest of my team, which is, when I get to Elite Four, is going to be very, very interesting. We'll handle that hurdle when we get there. Alright, so until next time, this is Lady Crimson saying, Ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!